Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we were exploring the streets of Silent Hill. Anyway, I believe if we go down here, we should be able to find an energy drink. Now, we have been told that we need to indeed... You know what, let's just drop this guy. probably going to be easier to explore if we get rid of him. Now, I did some looking up and can we not kill you? Yeah, I did some uh, research and apparently these enemies do not actually regen. So that's worth knowing. Maybe the energy drink is on the other side. I have been making some, ah, there it is, some basic maps along the way to help us out. Let's try and get as many uh, items as humanly possible. Right, okay, so the doghouse. Well, the doghouse is back here. Apparently, we need to check it for something. I'm sure it's nothing good. Or maybe it is something good. I guess we're about to find out. Now... Where's our little, little friends? I believe there's two dogs here. Now you can see, with some somewhat efficient use of ammo, we can actually take these guys out fairly easily. Now if they jump at you mid-air, you will knock them back, kind of like Resident Evil style. So, the house key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. Yeah, so if we search that before finding the note, Harry will say that there's nothing inside, which is kind of cool, if you ask me. I like the way... Um, right, we've used the house key. I like the way that he has to actually be informed of where it is. Okay, so we're going to grab up the first aid kit. There's some other supplies in here. Some handgun bullets, which are absolutely going to come in useful. Now, what I like in this game uh, is the handgun is actually a pretty good weapon, to be honest with you. It's not bad at all. And it's certainly going to be carrying us through the game quite a bit. So we've found the first aid kit. There's an energy drink there. And I have a feeling that's pretty much everything. Nothing useful. We can actually save the game, which might not be a terrible idea, I'll be honest. I'm going to drop a save state there because uh, I said I was going to save it off camera and I didn't. Nothing special. Okay. So we found two packets of handgun rounds. See, according to my notes, there should be two energy drinks in here, but I think they're actually uh, a little bit further on. Uh, out the back door, maybe. So, if we have a little look here, something is written on the map, hanging on the wall. Keys for the eclipse. Ha! Huh. So, it looks like we are stuck, because we have a door which requires three keys, and we have zero keys. Luckily, on this map here, it's telling us exactly where the keys are. So we've copied that to the map, and let's return to town. We've got some looking to be done. Well, luckily, I already know where the keys are, so that is going to save us a little bit of time. Now we're going to want to head back up to the north down Finney Street, past the alleyway that we uh, lost Cheryl in the beginning, and we want to keep running until we get to another alleyway, it's a longer alleyway, but an alleyway with some rather delicious items down. Uh, yep, we're almost there, just past the cafe, this is a bit of a trek. Luckily, there's nothing actually down there, apart from an air screamer. 
but he shouldn't bother us too much. Here we go. This is what we want. Now, roughly halfway down. Aha! Off limits my ass. So, let's go and have a poke around. Here we find our first key. Key of Woodman. Well, we'll have that. We'll also take the health drink. And I believe... I thought, actually... There was another health drink around here somewhere. Maybe that's on... That could... as a dog's head. Lovely. That could be on a, a different difficulty, perhaps. No matter. It's possible. It's further down, mind you. Luckily, these health drinks do kind of stick out. If you know what you're looking for, they're not too difficult to find. Nothing back there. Okay, well, you know, I don't think one health drink is going to save the day. Or, you know, famous last words, potentially. Right, let's go to the bridge. Which is this way. And I do love that kind of deep ambience that we've got going on here. Nothing but the the kind of white noise of the radio and that eerie echoing of Harry's footsteps. Really do a good job here. Now this is quite the trek, but where are we now? Ah, we've gone the wrong bloody way. Of course we have. Well, funny enough, there is some goodies down here. But there's also quite a few dogs. So we're going to grab that. Is it worth it to take a hit to get a massive medikit? Uh, possibly. But there is three screamers down there, so... Or three howlers, I should say. Right, we want to turn around and go this way, man. And then we want to take a left up the road. And then a right. And follow it all the way. We should be going in the right direction now. I say, optimistically hopeful that we're going in the right direction. We are. Okay, so we want to take the next left and follow it all the way to the end. Now we can go and grab a couple of more packets of handgun ammo. Which might not be a terrible idea. Because we might as well harvest everything up here that we can whilst we're out here. Alright, let's follow this all the way. Past the air screamer. And there's another air screamer around here somewhere. But we can waste his ass. I believe he's on his own. Now I can feel the uh, controller kind of vibrating. Which means our health could be better. Right, where's... There he is. Right, he took some rounds. There you go. Stick my foot up your ass, son. Or, you know, through your throat, either or. To be honest, you know, I'm not fussy with how I kill my uh, air screamers. As long as it's efficient and they suffer, I'm happy with that. Okay, so. Let's grab our handgun rounds. Very nice. Now, this policeman either had a pretty horrific time or he survived just in the nick of time. So that there is our second key. One left to find. Now we need to get the key of Scarecrow. So we're going to go south 
on Elroy Street. I'm going to follow this all the way down to the bottom, at least as far as we can go. And we are going to grab up the key of Scarecrow, a health drink, and two packets of handgun ammo. Unfortunately, the handgun ammo is guarded, but that's fine. Oh, hello. I don't really need to fight you, if I'm being honest. Now, there should be a health drink here. Somewhere. Uh, we're not going to worry too much if we can't find it. We'll lose them in the trees. They kind of get tricked out with the trees. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Okay. So this is circled, which means... Somewhere... Is our key... Ah, right, yeah. I remember... Ah, there's the health drink. I remember actually um, struggling to find this place. I'm going to take that, and I am just going to update my map along the way as we grab these things. And the key. Thank you. All right, Harry, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Now, if we come down this way, we'll come up to another little turning on our left here. And that should have some ammo for us. Come on, you little sack of shit. Fly towards me. There we go. Yeah, how did that feel, huh? What do you think of my size 13s right in your anal cavity? You like that? There we go. Lovely. Right, got some more hangar bullets. We're probably pretty healthy in the supplies category right now, to be honest. Um, so we have three med kits. We have 11 health drinks. Yeah, we might as well use one. We've got all of our keys. We have, wow. Yeah, we have like 119 bullets, I think that is. Yeah. I oh know, it's 109 bullets. Still, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So let's reload. As you can see, though, the handgun is absolutely fine for pretty much everything we need to deal with. Okay, so now we need to go back. Uh, just double checking my notes. Yeah, I think we've grabbed everything. Cool. So the quickest, most efficient way back is probably straight down Matheson Street. Let's go. So we're going to do a 180 turn and just run. So good old Harry is going to be pretty healthy after this. All these health drinks, uh, you know, pretty good time. All the health drinks. Is this the one? And all this cardio. It's going to be a strapping young lad. Interesting, uh, you know, I remember the first time I played this game and, you know, I think Harry in this time is supposed to be like 32 years old and I was like, oh, I get to play as an old man. Ha! Here I am. You know, I've circled around this planet 37 times myself now and it's like, oh, Harry's a young man. Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, yes, how, how time changes, you know. It's kind of amazing when I think about it. I was talking to a friend uh, yesterday, and like we saw a meme online, and it's like it's the um, meme from Transformers with the uh, the twister coming in the desert, and it's like people born in the 80s and then 40 fastly approaching. And I was like talking to him because he used to work in a game shop that I used to uh, frequent all the time. In fact, that's where I bought most of my games and most of my consoles for pretty much forever. And um, I was, we was just talking, man. It's just, you know, drop a save, say, as we're walking past the save. Um, you know, what happened? Seriously. 
It's like we've blinked and the time has gone. You know, I remember going down and picking up my Xbox 360 Slim on launch day from there. And it's like, what? It's getting dark again. What's going on? Yeah, this is where things get a little bit spoopy. And there's the two energy drinks that I was hoping for. As you can see, for like a game that's on normal difficulty, supplies are everywhere. And I do mean it, they are everywhere. But from what I can remember of this game, and remember, I haven't played it for a, for a good old time, uh, the supplies do start lightening up as we go through. You know, early on in the game, you're getting more supplies than you can shake a stick at. So if you're curious, we have now transitioned over into the dark side of Silent Hill. Now, if we go this way, there are some supplies up in the top corner. We're not going to worry about him. Because we want our supplies. Unfortunately, this emulator is kind of letting us down a little bit with the draw distance just loading in the way it is. Although, it does give you a nice little look at how... Ow. It works. I don't know. I can't remember if there's supposed to be fog here. It's been so long since I've actually played this game on real hardware. Right, so these guys are dispatched. Now, up here, there should be some goodies. Somewhere. There they are. So we've got some hang rounds and another health drink. And we would be foolish to leave these supplies behind. Now, Let's come down Midwich Street. We're just going to run and ignore everything we come up against. And we're going to take the left. We've got some growlers. I, can't, I must look them up. I can't remember if they're called growlers or howlers. Okay, so we want to head this way check the map, make sure we're in the right area. We actually are. So we want to go down this alleyway. Down this alleyway, just ahead of us, there's some supplies. Although it is just a health drink. It is located here somewhere. possibly gone too far. Yeah, the camera does kind of like wobble around a little bit and trick you out, but in a way, I don't mind that because it kind of adds to the disorientation of the game. I'm sure there's a health drink down here. Am I going mad? Possibly. Right. There it is. Cool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Lovely. Now, let's keep going straight down here. Turn around. And we want to go straight down to the left. Or, nah. We want to go to the right, I believe. Yeah, to the right. Now, we're actually quickly approaching the school. But we ain't going to worry about that. Right, out of the way, pooch. Now, down that alleyway as well, there's also like a little save pad. But we don't need that. It's all coming back to me. Now, I would say this game has a better atmosphere than Resident Evil. Resident Evil has like an incredibly good uh, atmosphere. But this just took the cake back in the day. 
It definitely is, at least to me, it's, I think it's scarier. There's something so ominous and foreboding about. We're back. Just had a weird power cut that absolutely uh, shut everything off in the entire place. That was fun. Luckily, recording in this uh, new OBS format <laughs> means it doesn't scrap the entire video, which, whew, Thank God for that, that's all I can say. Anyway, enough about my moaning. Let's go. So we need to take a little bit of a right. No, it's a left. We'll go right in a minute, because that will take us to the school. So if we come up here, I've also found an extra packet of handgun bullets that was not written down on my notes, which is curious. But that's okay. Now if we come up here, there should also be some goodies. That should be where we wanna go. I wanna check out the end of this though, cause I am a little bit dubious now of my notes. Because, uh, yeah, I'm finding stuff that's not written down. Now, if we come through this way, this is going to lead us into another house. Which will allow us... Oh, it's locked. I guess we're not going through there yet, then. Ha. Huh. In that case. Am I getting ahead of... Yeah, I must be getting ahead of myself. Pretty sure... We're going to find the key for that a little bit later on. Okay, so let's head back out into the open. Now, if we come down here, this place is destroyed. Another broken part of town. Now, let's go straight ahead, and we should be able to find a little hut. Inside the hut are some goodies. Is there anything up here? I don't trust it. <laughs> I haven't explored as thoroughly as I thought I had. Shocking, I know. Oh, hello. Right. And of course, by hut, I mean bus. Because, you know, similar, but different. Right, you're dead. Kill it. Kill it. Come on, kill it. Harry isn't always the most nimble of people. Right, I think we've probably taken a little bit of a battering. We actually have. Oh, dear. I mean, oh, okay. It actually only takes two of those to fully heal us. I thought it was significantly more than that. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Yeah, so we can actually go in here, which is kind of cool. We have two health drinks, and we can also save it in here as well. The game is running at like two frames a second, which is fantastic. Okay, we'll drop a save there. Kind of dubious um, in case any power cuts happen again. I've got to keep remembering what I've done and what I haven't done. I say keep, it's only happened once. But you know, I've got to be dramatic. Now, let's go into the elementary school. Whew. So, apparently, Cheryl is here. But, I'm going to end this video here, guys because this is a good place to leave it for next time. So thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, until next time.